We're live. How are... And we're live. <laughs> we're live. This is great. Uh, hopefully. Welcome okay. to Nightcap with the Land Geek guys. <laughs> Look, we already have a comment from Mark. This is great. Let me uh, post that there. It says, uh, I haven't been this excited about something since in and out Burger King to <laughs> Phoenix. Is that weird? <laughs> no, that's not weird at all. This is a... Uh, Listen, this is a brand new uh, concept that Scott and I came up with, and uh, we figured, you know, there's a lot of activities going on during the day. However, at night, you know, there's really no, you know, kind of connection with the community at night, and we thought that, hey, we love talking about the land business at night. Why don't we just include other people in our discussions, right? Because we're always, Scott and I always vox from each other, you know, we're kind of geeky, uh, but that's in line with the, uh, you know, the whole community. We're all kind of geeky. We love making money in geeky ways. This is great. How you doing tonight, Scott? I am doing great. I'm excited to see who's burning the midnight oil. <laughs> uh, I I work well at night, so I'm hoping we get some folks on here to uh, to chat and let us know how things are going. So Scott doesn't even know. Like he's like, what's what's our first show going to involve? And I said, well, I I kind of wanted to surprise you, Scott. I mean, I don't want to prepare you. I wanted to surprise you, like, because I had an idea of some of the first contents we could have. Um, <laughs> Mark says, <laughs> kind of geeky. That's like saying you're kind of pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that one. I'm going to show that one. See, I, I'm learning this. This is perfect. Watch. Here comes Mark's comment. Yeah, I can't see the comment. Uh, oh, anyway. there we go. I got it. There it is. There it is. All right. And then we're going to show one more comment, just a little props for my wife. She's on there as me. Uh, so that's really not me complimenting about myself, saying that, um, you know, this is not me complimenting <laughs> myself. This is my wife on my page, so I'm going to hide right, that. Right. So, Scott, this is what I wanted to ask you. You know, okay. at first, you know, you and I communicate back and forth all the time, right? We talk about the business. Um, tell me, and, I, and, and I'll obviously tell you in a second on my end, when did you, when was the business proved, to, when did you prove it to yourself that this business was going to work? I mean, when, what was that, was it the deal? Was it a moment in time? Was it when you first met me? I mean, when was it that, <laughs> the, that the business, like, to you, just was, like, just solidified and was like, this really works? I mean, I know it really works, but of course, we all know that, but it works for you. When was that moment? Tell me that moment. I know you, I mean, you don't have to be prepared. You know that moment. Everybody knows that moment. Oh, I know that moment. Uh the the moment was honestly my my first sale right when you get your you get the first check in the mail right when you i mean that that that's the biggest thing for me uh when you buy a piece of property for $700 and you're you're freaking out and you have no idea if right. you're on the on the right path right i mean there's fear when, when you when you write out that first check to per- purchase your first parcel of land you put it in the mail. You're like, what the heck am I doing? <laughs> is, 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 am, am I actually going in this is direction? Is anything going to come back in return? Is, is this anything going to come back in return, right? <laughs> and then like uh, three weeks later, when I get a check in the mail for $2,800 for a piece of land that I purchased for 700 I mean, it works. And it, it was it was such a feeling of like validation and excitement and uh, confidence. I mean, I just wanted to rinse and repeat and do it all over again. So that was my moment. I did it with the investor toolkit, and wow, then so uh, executed off the toolkit with that. That was off the I toolkit. Did. Yep, I executed with the toolkit, and uh, and then the the next the next thing for me, the next big thing for me was boot camp in Las Vegas in the fall of. 2015 uh when i met people in the community i met mark i mean that was the next big thing that was where i was like all right we're going all in on this so it's pretty exciting what about you (laughs) first first thing (laughs) you know what you hit upon a a great point i think when you do one deal in this business it's definitely it's like uh, you know, a kid with candy. It's like it just addicts you right away. It's like, oh my god, I want to do this again, you know. So I, I always tell people the first year of the business, you really should pro- get proof of concept, prove the business to yourself, and uh, you know, from there, big things can happen. You know, I we I think my story is out. Like the first year, I I did pay off forty grand of debt in that first year, right? But yeah, that's amazing. That it was amazing. But you know what? It was year two when we were going to get married, and it was. Uh, 
we, it was in January. The wedding was in June. And we're like, okay, how are we going to pay for this? Okay, we don't want to go in debt again. Like, how are we going to pay for this wedding? And I said, well, why don't we just flip a whole bunch of land wholesale, and we'll end up with a whole bunch of cash in the bank after we pay for the wedding. We'll take my – because we always told the kids when they turn 21, we'll take them on a trip with us. When my son just turned 21, we'll, say, we'll bring him on the honeymoon with us. He'll bring his girlfriend, and uh, we'll have a whole bunch of cash left in the bank. And I'm like – she's like, really think we could do that? I said, yeah, I really think we could do that. So – Five months, uh, or it was a little less than five months, we raised enough money. We paid them. The wedding was expensive. And we had went, took my son on the honeymoon with us. Uh, he asked his uh, his girl to become his fiance. Uh, it was a great oh time. Yeah. Insane. And so, and then we got back and we had tons of money in the bank and we did it with all of the land business. To me, that was just like, wow, like, what can't I do with this business? You know, if I just yeah. did that, it was basically around fifty thousand dollars raised in this like five month period of being like a maniac, just flipping land. I was like a day trader, just deeds in, deeds out, boom, 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 boom. Yep. You know, and truth be told, I didn't always get you know double my money. I was just doing wholesale deals. Sometimes I might buy a piece of land for five hundred and sell for eight hundred, but I didn't care because I could buy land and I could buy it again and I could buy it again, and it was awesome. To me, that was truly uh, a, just a pivotal point. I'm going to show a, a oh, that, oh, here's a little props from your wife. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could hear her say that with that Wisconsin accent because that would sound oh, really good. On. This is so you, say it for me. Read, read your wife's quote with the Wisconsin I, accent. I you love it that it. you're make. I love it that you're making fun of me for having an accent. I mean, really. <laughs> but the, the folks want to hear you say that. He has to be like. We, it's a little known fact, Scott, that we have a lot of Fargo fans in the community, and they're waiting for you to say that I, quote. I did grow up in South Dakota, <laughs> <laughs> and my wife grew up in Minnesota, <laughs> and now we live in Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Look at that comment from Mark Podolsky. He he. He has this impression that at the at the first boot camp, I just he his story is I just sat there like this, just just you know gruff and not excited and and uh, well I don't know he he's telling the truth I mean it takes a while to break into you Scott you're a little intimidating you know and you know right, but now you and right. I've got to know each other you know and uh, probably a little bit too well but that's okay you know through yeah. Fox there yeah. you know. That. I always tell him, I say, hey, what are you doing Friday night? Want to get some dinner? He's like, yeah, what are you meeting in Chicago? <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> some weekend we're meeting in Chicago. Hey, what's your drink of choice tonight, by the way? It is a nightcap. It is a nightcap. So I have a little Basil Hayden here in my in my cup. And, nice. you know, what I do is four drops of water. Four little drops of water opens it up nicely and uh, brings out the flavor. And, you know, Honestly, at night, I do usually have a small drink and just reflect on the day and prepare for the next day. I mean, it's great to, I think, get ready for what's going to come down. tomorrow. Yeah, you got to yeah, wind down, sure. but prepare to wind up the next day, right? Exactly. So you don't wake up in the morning and say, well, what am I going to do? You, you get out. Um, you know, here's my own the day notebook, okay? I don't have nice. any stock in this company. It's just a, uh, it's a great quote, own the day. So, uh, you know, I even hear my, my secret formulas for the next day. Um, Very real good. quick, everybody. There they are. Oh, sorry. That was oh. quick. I can't see the secret formula. But <laughs> it's like I wind down, but I prepare, right, for the next day and how, what's going to happen. So Wind down and wind up. I like that. I like that a lot. There we go like this. Erin, she agrees with, uh, with Mark. I, you, you are intimidating. It, it, and with me. She's agreeing. Right. You can't right, argue right. with your wife, so let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Bill Blanchett's on. <laughs> Bill. Ah, Bill is awesome. Bill and I work yeah. together. Lucky um, for us, Mike doesn't have an accent, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, I, I don't know what accent you're talking about, Scott, and I'm sure the folks at home are wondering as well, but uh, definitely. So, Scott, what do you Have think? you ever had a whiskey round? I, I, have, to about about I have to Tell brag about this. I have to brag about these. Well, What's I, a whiskey round? All right, so I, got, I have two fingers of Maker's Mark here, but I – I have a whiskey round. So these are round ice cubes <laughs> that my I'm wife. Familiar with this. I'm not familiar with this word round. This, yeah, this it's, called whiskey, it's called a whiskey round. round. Anyway, look it up. <laughs> round. They're, they're, they're perfectly round, spherical ice cubes that keep your whiskey wonderfully cold. <laughs> Well, as you take that sip, I'm going to ask you another question. All right. Uh, What's we, up? And, and I know there's people tuning in now, and they will be tuning in later. 
people that are starting out, we have a lot of people in this community. Right now, we're in the uh, mastermind community. There's about 300 people that belong in here, um, you know, which I always tell people, think about this. You go to a local real estate meeting, right, and uh, you could have close to this many people at that one meeting. This is our worldwide community because we do have international investors, 300 people. So just think about that. Think about how small our niche truly is. Um, so the people that are in this group, Scott, some of them uh, may be struggling with their first deals. Some of them may be struggling with the mailing. Some inspiration. What do you have? What kind of, you know, I, I'm, I'm struggling here. I see that you're succeeding, and I see other people are succeeding. I hear the stories. But I haven't felt, I haven't tasted that success yet. And maybe I'm on the verge of saying, you know what? Like Mark says, I'm going to go and do some ATM investing. But before I go, Scott, can you, can you inspire me? Can you give me something? What would you give me? All right. Well, I touched on this a little bit at boot camp, but so <clears throat> being in healthcare, I see people every day who are struggling with something, right? And they don't feel like they're getting better. They don't feel like they're on the right path. But it's very apparent that they are when I say to them, uh, Stan, whatever, we'll use, it, we'll use the name Stan. Hey, are, are, you, are you any better than you were two weeks ago? Are you, is your pain any better? Are you walking any better? And immediately, without hesitation, he says, of course. So if you can look back, that's what I, that's what I say to people when, they start, when they're starting this business. First of all, you just need an hour or two a day to move the needle, right? Just move your feet a little bit every day. And if at the end of every week, you can look back and say, are you better than you were a week ago? Or are you better than you were two weeks ago? You're on the right track. It will happen for you. It's just a matter of putting in the miles, right? Putting in the time to get the mailers out there. And it's mailing, mailing, mailing. That's the other thing is like I tell people, try not to get, try not to get overwhelmed with all of the stuff in this business, right? Keep it simple. Mail, mail, mail. Worry about the other stuff later. So that would be my advice, my advice I guess. Move That's the needle an hour or two a day and you will get better. I like that. I like that. And before we go to how I would treat, I'm going to throw a few more comments up there. Here's one from Mark. Uh, every boot camp, someone closed the deal, which is true. In fact, we usually have multiple people, multiple people closing deals. I think there's something magical about uh, having all of us together in one place. It inspires people. When you're around people successful that are being successful in this business, it inspires you to take your business to the next level, right? So uh, Scott was one of those people closing that weekend. Uh, Wisconsin cheese curds, super, super land, land seller. seller. Nice, <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> Team Bossman. I love it. Oh, I love all of Mark's comments. Now, this comment I do like right here. I kind of have a, a personal affinity to this comment. Team Mike, uh, you know, this is slow. This is a, this is a slow-moving uh, phenomenon because usually we have Team Tate, Team Scott. There is this growing Team Mike, and, uh, you know, we'll just leave it at that for now. But it, it's it's growing. <laughs> uh, I think it's a bigger community than you than you are giving yourself credit for, my friend. <laughs> Mark a lot of fans friend. of Mike. Mark, Mark, Mark said, uh, "Good luck to us, enjoy." Uh, definitely. Uh, oh, wait a minute, Team Bossman. Uh, there we go. Mark's playing Mark both right there. But uh, oh, that one went away quick, and this one came back up. So that's pretty good. <laughs> so Mark, Mark also he had a question up there. He said, "Oh, Kyle Nab is Team Mike. Nice." Uh, Let's just throw that most, out there. I what's like your that. most What's your most common newbie question? That's from Mark. Really, Mike? What's your what's your most common newbie <clears throat> newbie question that you get from people in the business? Well, I, I think it usually hinges around the mailing because that's the first wall that people hit. And you you know, I'll, I'll, the mailing is an interesting thing in this business because there's all, what I call the pre basics. Mailing is is super important, and it is you know if you listen to Scott Todd and his discussion, anybody who's been through flight school, and if you haven't, there's this is so much in there, and this is an example of it right here. As he breaks a business down to what he calls the five plates. And when I first heard him talking about this years ago, I was like, five plates? What he's talking about? But then when you hear him go through it, it makes perfect mm -hmm. sense. And I kind of have a little take on this myself. But And the first plate is the mailing, right? And 
and also the five plates, right? The mailing, and after the mailing, we have to do the due diligence, right? So we have to look at deals and see whether or not they're uh, viable to move forward on. They close. How do we quickly get the property in our name, right? And after closing, uh, we got to go into the marketing and then sales. So these are five plates. And the interesting thing is later on, they become like gears because they begin, Scott talks about them spinning on their own, these plates, which means you have the process moving on its own. And then picture that you have these five things happening, but then you connect it together like gears, and now you've truly built a machine that's uh, a, your land business. So what I'm talking about is this first plate mailing, that people usually hit this right away, this wall. But there's the pre-basics, and that's county research. You listen to someone like Tate, who you know does over a million dollars in sales every year. He's phenomenal. He talks about county research. In fact, that was what he did for the first several months in the business, just researching the counties and finding where you're going to mail because arguably that's the most important part of this business. Now, there is an easy way. We always talk about just go where the, you know, the book where the wild things are. Well, where are the land sellers, right? Go where they are. Yeah. And then the thing about getting a list that people sometimes have a hard time understanding, and I always say shoot first, aim later. Scott Todd says done is better than perfect. The reality is any list is a good list. Embrace the fact that massive amounts of mailing will bring responses. Now, they're not always going to be really, you know, happy-go-lucky people saying, hey, thanks for that low-ball offer. I'm really happy with it. Thank you. You're going to have angry people, but that's great. That's like the little, you know, breadcrumb saying, you're on the right track. If you're aggravating a few people, you're doing something right in this business because sooner or later that accepted offer is going to come. Three to five percent of the people are going to respond. One to two are going to be viable. Say you close one percent. Say you close one deal out of every hundred. That yep. is, should inspire you right there to throw out a thousand mailings. I mean, say you close one deal out of every hundred, send out a thousand, close ten deals. I mean, people have that. That's the most common question is this whole idea about the mailing. So <laughs> what I like to say, excuse me for the car, but I like to say is that here's the good news about the business mixed with the bad news. The land business is boring, right? The land is, business is boring. It's a repeatable, redundant process. It's the same thing day after day after day. Yep. But that's awesome, Scott. Why is that awesome? Because we can put it in systems. We can automate it. We can delegate it. We can put VAs in there. If it was so complicated, if you took five houses and put them next to each other, all built in 1940, you can't assume that every house is going to be the same. But if you get five pieces of land, or when I bought like 40 in a subdivision in Colorado last year, they're all the same. It's imaginary lines, and it's just dirt and grass and shrubs. There's no difference. So this repeatable, redundant, boring process is awesome because you can build a team of people that can take care of it for you. So I exactly. think that, uh, you know, what I tell people, this kind of parlays into what I would tell someone who's thinking about, hey, I'm going to go ATM invest. This is a repeatable, redundant process. Commit to the same few actionable steps every day. Tate's fond of saying there's two or three things that have to happen every day to make this business work. Yep. You know, there's only a few things you have to do. Just do them every day. And if you keep doing them every day, like, no, anybody here has worked out, right? You're not going to just get jacked in one day. Well, you know, I, I kind of always said, Laura, I went for a walk this morning, Laura. So, Laura, we just had my daughter's event. I go, does it look any different? I went for a walk this morning. Said, yeah, like, That's one walk. You're going re to repeat it over and over again. So. Oh, yeah, I know. And, all right, to, to expand on that, it really is just a numbers game, right? Like, you get 100 offers out a week, right? 100 offers out a week, 400 offers out a month. That's four properties. That should be four properties if you're in the right market, right? Right. It is, and it's a when cumulative get, effect. It's a yeah, cumulative and then effect. When you get your systems down and you have access to an automated system like LG Pass, and you can ramp those mailings up to 200 a week, 300 a week, you start to double and triple your deals for that month. It's just a numbers game. You get a get a, and, and that that would be my recommendation to anybody. You know, starting with the investor toolkit or starting in flight school, hundred a week, hundred a week, hundred a week is essential. It's all a numbers game. You're going to get one deal out of those hundred mailings. I agree. Let's look at a comment here from Andy. Uh, Subpar list to start with. Got some response, but it helped me learn a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, not every list is the best list, but there's. There's going to be something that happens, right? Put it this way. You take no action, nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. We can sit here all day long, right, Scott, and say, well, um, I'm just, what if I did this? What if I did that? But when you take action, something happens, and you recover from that action with more knowledge, more experience, and you're more equipped to make things happen. Yep, for sure. 
What do you think of this one, Scott, from Kenny? And Kenny, thanks for tuning in. And thank you, Andy, for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, yeah, do you guys awesome. think good pitches make a big difference on sales? What do you think, Scott? I think sometimes, definitely. Um, uh, Tate, Tate told a story one time, too, about how he was just struggling, you know, selling this property. I think this is on one of the roundtable podcasts. And uh, all of a sudden, he's like, oh, let's just, you know, change the pictures up a little bit. And uh, he, he changed the picture up and, and uh, got better responses. So I think the, the key is, though, uh, it, it depends on the marketing platform also. So like on Facebook, you have the opportunity, opportunity to post more pictures. So that, that that's pretty awesome that you can you can definitely catch people's eye better on Facebook with pictures. So pictures might be a little bit more important on Facebook, in my opinion. When it comes to Craigslist, it's all about the headline, right? You gotta mm-hmm. you gotta bring them in with the headline. It's got to be creative. It's got to be something that makes them think. Um, and I don't know. So what what are your thoughts on pictures? I know I've hired people in the past to to go out and take pictures, and I just reuse them and reuse them and reuse them, based on you know the fact that I have property in that area. But they're but they're great pictures, and I think it does help. Well. I agree with you because, you know, I see people, I've done a lot of work on eBay and there's some people on eBay that literally use the same pictures for every ad and they sell parcel after parcel after parcel. Yep. Um, I think what, you know, there's so many, most of us working in the same areas, there's so many pictures out there that you could get pictures of the area. Um, the reality is what makes a great uh, the ability to sell a property, in my mind, it's not a cop-out, it's a great purchase. We make our money on the buy side. If you exactly. buy property at such a good price, you have so many options. You can wholesale it. You can sell it retail. You can sell it on terms. You can do a ton of things with it, but it all comes down to that purchase price. But uh, photographs definitely help. I've had an area where I did like 40 lots in Colorado once, and um, I got a drone footage. It was awesome. Oh, was, nice. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah I, haven't done, nice. I haven't done the drone footage yet. Yeah, no, drone footage is uh, – when you get that, it's it's great. And there's a there's a growing group of people out there that'll do that for you too. That's I mean I mean um, we could probably you know maybe we could talk to Scott Todd about flying over and just taking real real time flight videos of Lyland. What do you think? That I <laughs> I think that is a that is an excellent idea. I think he'd be more than willing. Is one or two pictures <laughs> enough on Craigslist? Yeah, you don't need too much Craigslist. Again, we, we talk about this a lot. We want to have a little bit of like. Mystery. Unknown. Mystery. Right, right. So, like, if we gave them everything, then they're going to be like, oh, I don't need that. I'm not going to even contact Scott. But if they were like, oh, I don't know, this, let me find out. Well, now we capture their email. Because most of our sales come from the buyer's list, but we make off of Craigslist. You do get those hot sales where you get them right away off of Craigslist. But when you get them onto your buyer's list and you build this rapport with them, build trust, build the sales. So, um, that, that, that's huge. Look at this. Uh, Chris. Grassman, let's see. I'm starting with very limited capital. I can only afford to purchase two, parcels, two or three parcels in my area. Should I go easy on the mailing at first? I build capital for the purchase. Ah, this is a great question. I'm going to let Scott take it first. That way I can right. parlay cool. off of him. I'm doing this a lot to you tonight, Scott. Next week I'll go first. Yeah, I mean, you put me on the spot. <laughs> Should I go easy on the mailing at first until I build capital to afford the properties? All right. Uh, Chris, I would say – Try to not stop your mailings, okay? Um, again, we make money on the buy, so you want to have deal flow coming in. Now, if, if you need to cut down your mailings to maybe 50 weeks, something like that, you know, that's that's understandable. But you got to try to keep hitting the mailbox every day, right? That's going to create more opportunity to the end. Now, if you can purchase those two or three parcels in that area, uh, I, don't know if you've, I don't know your situation. I don't know if you purchased them yet or if you're on the verge of purchasing them, or maybe you have an agreement signed or that type of thing, you could always extend out the due diligence period on those parcels and start marketing the heck out of those properties, right? Market, market, market those properties. And then hopefully by the time you got a new set of due diligence deals coming in, you have one or two of those properties sold. Um, As far as, you know, strategies, like my first year, uh, I did a ton of wholesale deals. I, you know, I, I was worried about capital, so I'd buy a lot for a thousand, sell it for two thousand. I did that all day long. Uh, I was able to pay for, you know, I was able to pay for coaching. I was able to pay for medical bills for my wife, uh, all because I had this mentality that 
uh, I wanted to do a lot of whole, a lot of cash sales initially, flip the land real quick. That's what you did too, Mike, and and get your money out and move on to the next one. So you know that might be a, a possibility for you as well. What do you think about that, Mike? I think it's a great answer. I think that you should never stop mailing this. Any time a deal comes across your table, you can make money. There's plenty of people in our community. This is a very tight knit, and this is another great reason to go to boot camp. You meet, there's so many people there in different situations, some with a lot of capital, a little capital, some who have an easy time acquiring property, some have a hard time with the mailings. You can always partner up with someone. There's plenty of people out there that would be willing to partner with you on a deal once you make a relationship with them. Um, the other thing is wholesaling is a great idea. Um, I wholesaled about 170 properties last year, and some properties I would probably own for literally an hour. I mean, it's it's simply file is a game changer. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you know, get on a call with Scott and I, and we'll tell you about it. I mean, simply file. You should all know about this. If you don't, uh, it's definitely schedule a call with us, and we'll talk about it. It just you know it makes this process so simple, where you can literally own properties for a fraction of a moment and have them sold, and really not even be using your money in a sense. So it's yep. it's just a uh, there's so many never stop mailing never ever uh, there's so many options when you get a property so speaking of like now people in this uh, mastermind group right a lot of, all of them obviously have uh, probably access to toolkit I'm assuming at some point Scott um, but some of them have gone through flight school some of them have been in coaching but what if you know someone wanted to you know get a deeper understanding of some of the things we're talking about um, we're gonna provide them with a way to get in touch with us so uh, we're gonna we're gonna have exactly. to post something on Facebook right when we do that we'll post something on Facebook if you want to talk to Scott and I about anything we talked about tonight or anything we didn't talk about tonight. You know, say you're a little yeah. shy, you don't want to go on here and, um, you know, write down Team Mike, that's okay. You can call me and tell me you love my tips on the round table. You can, you can do it that way, and I'll, I'll only tell Scott Todd, so that's no big deal. Should we post something in there so if people want to access and ask questions uh, – you know, yeah, uh, and we can say it here. Too. It's uh, it's www.thelandgeek.com slash training. Can you, you answer that into this whole podcast? I, I, think, way? Yeah, I think there's a little chat uh, thing. Let's see here. Wow. You're the tech here, guy. I'll, I'll put it in and then. So go to tech guy. Scott, it's on you. Let's go. Okay. Tech guy. <laughs> well, we got a comment right. here too while you're looking at that. Oh. And then I think you can share that. Oh, there it is. Uh, All right. But yeah, Mike and I would love to talk to no, any that's of you just, guys. So. Scott, you just sent that, that to me, so that really didn't help the people in the in the uh, room. You know? I, I, right. If I want to call you, I know how to find you. So uh, we're gonna go over. <laughs> we're gonna go Sorry. over to Bill Blanchard, uh, and I'm sure he meant to start this whole post off with Team Mike, but we'll forgive him for that. Um, cost to set up, and what do they charge for deed to file? The subscriptions fees? Are, no, actually, I had no. I don't know if it changed, but I had no setup cost, and really, honestly. It's about ten dollars on it's top of bucks. what it costs to record it. And when yep. I used to record the deeds by sending them to the county, I'd send them by prior to USPS mail. It's like six, seven dollars. Six bucks. Yep. So it's like three dollars more. Uh, so yeah, definitely. Here we go, Mike Ballback. Uh, would you suggest a specific platform for selling wholesale, or do you go about the same way as any other sale? You're the wholesale guru there, buddy. Yeah, but you go first tonight. Oh, I go first tonight. <laughs> a specific platform for selling wholesale. Okay, so I don't know if he's speaking like marketing platform, but I mean, like where would I? Sell, where would I? I want to sell wholesale. Who am I going to sell to? Oh, the the Facebook Mastermind group right there. You sell the Facebook Mastermind group, or you can kill it on eBay, like Mike Zeno, the Land Guru. eBay is akin at times to wholesaling, although you can do great terms deals there. It is at times uh, akin to wholesale. But here's the reality. We work in a great community where people, like I said, some have capital, some don't. Nope. Some just don't want to go through the mailing when they know that they can get properties from people at a great price. Wholesaling has got a kind of a weird mentality that you got to embrace. You can't – I remember being at boot camps wholesaling to someone, and then they go to Tate. I just took that property, Mike, and I just made this much money on it. I don't want to tell them I feel bad. Tate's like, what do you mean? Go tell him. He'll sell you another one. You yeah, can't exactly. Get, you can't get attached to it. You're doubling your money, uh, whatever it may be, and they're going to make three, four, five hundred percent. And you just know because you have the ability to get property over and over again. Our community is a great place to do that, and you get people that are seasoned investors will buy your land like that if it's a great deal. So that's the best platform, honestly. Let's keep it within the community. Let's help each other. For sure. Let's go. We got another comment here. 
Scott, what's the strategy for partnering with someone? Do you split the profit 50-50 or something similar? Yes. Split, split the profit 50-50. Yeah, it really uh, comes down to whatever you two agree upon. But that is pretty you traditional. You know, I mean, if, if I'm going to – Scott comes to me and says, Mike, got a deal you want in on? I said, here's the capital. You know, boom, we'll split the deal. You know, that's that, yep. that's something I would do all day long because, you know, look at the return I'm getting on my investment. Um, but that's something that's also open for negotiation. I mean, that's just a – that's part of a partnership. Yep, for sure. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Bill. No need to you apologize, might. Bill. We all knew what you were thinking anyway. <laughs> we're going to leave that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, listen. We I think we've gone about a half hour here. It just flew by. It did Almost fly by. It was fun. My, my Basil Hayden. It's just about got, empty. Uh, Sixteen we, people tuning in. That's awesome. So we may we we're going to look for a little vote on the uh, on the mastermind group. We may get some uh, specialized. Um, what do you call those uh, those ro those robes you wanted oh, me to smoke, buy? We're going to get a smoking jacket. Yeah, smoke jacket. Would you guys rather see us wear those for the uh, for the late night uh, chat? Uh, if so, they'll be here for next week. I mean, we, we mean it. We we'll, take we'll create a poll in the Facebook group. A we'll, poll, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Smoking jacket versus, uh, you know, I don't know, jammies smoke versus me and my hat with my right. shirt. Um, and uh, Scott and his uh, Wisconsin shirt there. Uh, right, sure. right. Well, this is my work shirt. You know, I was in the clinic today. It, it, it looks good. It looks Thanks. good. Thanks, dude. It looks great. Uh, I already got a vote here. Smoking jacket. Smoking jacket. Yes. yes. We were hoping for that. We really were. So, Bill, you're leading the charge on that, and we're very happy because we were hoping, uh, you know, we just got to talk the wives into it. So, uh, and, then, oh. and I'm going to get one of those really big high back leather chairs and just sit here and swivel back and forth. <laughs> Look at this. With my bourbon. Can you read this comment? Something ridiculous. I love it. All right. Well, we're going to have a new drink every week, too. So I had the maker's mark this week. And... This is not a comment from me, by the way. Again, this is my oh. wife. Don't anybody think that I'm, like, appeasing myself. This is this is my wife who's I, – I, I don't know if I talk about this enough. She runs her own business. She does an awesome job. She's started... <laughs> What happened was she stopped working at the school system last year, over a year ago. Come this summertime at one of the boot camps because she's always there. Actually, towards the fall, I said, why don't you set up your own business model just to have some fun, in it? and it's an empowering process. Awesome. So she's done that. She's made several sales and purchases. So uh, she's talking about how she set up her Simply File here for those who had questions. So um, look, You she do have to have an LLC for Simply File if people didn't know that. Well, I so they asked me. No, they asked me what my business name was. Now, you should have an LLC for Actum, but for Simply File, unless they've oh, changed, you they, just say, they just asked me, what was, and they asked my wife, what was your business? So you could say Team Mike, right? You could just, your business name could there be you. Team Mike, and you could definitely set up a Simply File. Uh, Eric Peterson just got on. Eric, we're going to sign off, Eric, but now that you're on, do you want to say something? Eric, we're trying to find out if we should wear smoking jackets. I mean, I'm going to go off on a limb and say tonight was a smashing success. I, I, I would definitely agree with that, yes. I'm just and, just my personal opinion based upon the comments from my wife and your wife. But other than yes, that. Yes. And Mark Podolsky, he was a fan. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, smoking jackets I think are definitely essential. Mixed Eric, master, you, may, you may have missed it if you didn't tune in earlier, but I'll make sure I send every single note to you. There's a new wave coming through called Team Mike. Um, so <laughs> just watch out. I mean, I don't, it's not like I have a pad of paper yet with my name on it, but it's getting close. Okay. <laughs> and Eric saying uh, hello. Great. It's great to have you here, Eric. And uh, stay behind a bar. Makes it drinks and taking our worries away. Mike shooting quotes left and right. That's right. That's right. We should have like quotes upon quotes upon quotes. And I think. Uh, you know, we had a mastermind call today, and Bearland Aaron, are you here, Bearland Aaron? Because uh, Bearland Aaron was starting to take over some quotes. I feel like he's trying to steal my thunder. And since oh, I have yeah. the table right now, and Aaron doesn't, Aaron don't steal my thunder. I'm the quote guy, Aaron. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, lo I love Bearland oh, yeah. Aaron's quotes. I forget what it was, but. <laughs> I'm going to bring the Caddyshack quotes next week with my smoking jacket. All right. Well, is there anything right. like to say to the community in closing? I'm going to say closing, something that I used to hear in high school. And this uh, is, oh, we should start from now on. I can't. Oh, man, I should have started. 
questions, comments, topics for discussion. That's what this, I don't even remember his name, but he was a great history teacher. Questions, comments, topics for discussion. We need to start that way from now on. What do you think, Scott? I think that's a, sure. I mean, uh, it's just great. Well, we got, we, we can't sign off. We got people that want to talk. Hold on a second. All right, that's fine. So important. <laughs> Let's see. Can you read that? Oh, very, very helpful. Well, that's nice, Bill. <laughs> That's why, Thank hey you. Bill. That's why. That's why we're doing this. Honestly, I mean, yeah, it's true. Mike and I, all joking aside, we were like, "Go ahead." No, all joking aside, the reason Mike and I are doing this is because we have a passion for this business and because it has changed our lives. And like Mark Podolsky, his passion is is helping people change their lives. And if we can help you guys in any way, move the needle. It's, it's a phenomenal feeling, and uh, we just believe in the business model so much that that's why we're going to do this. And if you guys want to learn more about the programs, about flight school, the flight school right now, Mike, I can't tell you. It is, it is insane the quality and the content of education that people are getting in flight school. Yes. If everybody, I mean, we talked about the mastermind today. Scott was talking about how Scott Todd, how last uh, meeting at the at the uh, um, at the flight school, everybody got a mailing out. I mean, it was like a two hour session. It was crazy. We had a two I mean, and a half hour awesome. session last night. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the needle gets moved. That's the important thing. Absolutely. Yeah, that's phenomenal. We appreciate you, you guys tuning in. Let's see. Should we be hammering away at Craigslist ads if we want to go to Wholesale Road initially? Just Everything, everything yeah. is a cumulative effect, right? Um, M&Ms. I mean, you, could, you could put a you could put an ad out on eBay for thirty seven dollars. I mean, think about it, thirty seven dollars. It may sell, it may not. Thirty seven dollars. Think about it. Think about right. that time value. Uh, you advertise it wholesale. Advertise it on Craigslist. Uh, you know, advertise it on advertise it on Facebook. I mean, everything. I mean, you just mailing and marketing, as Mark Podolsky always says, are the only two things we control in this business. And arguably, he says it's marketing and marketing. If you put a Awful is in front of enough people, someone's going to sell. You put right. someone out there wants to buy your land. Think about this. Someone out there, all of you, all of your land parcels together, somebody wants to buy each and every one of those. They just haven't seen it yet. They don't nope. know. So all routes, yes. And I agree with this. My wife's watching, so she'll probably buy me some. <laughs> Cheap sunglasses. Does that mean Does that, mean, <laughs> that you that don't mean, need any? <laughs> what? What? I don't know. I don't know if that. I don't know if Gary's saying that it's really bright over there on your side, or oh, or what's that's going what on. We were talking about that. He could be. <laughs> I don't know. But Gary, can you uh, clarify? But I, I like the idea of the glasses either way. Um, I like that. Maybe it's just my aura. My aura is shining so bright. Shine light like a sh shine. I can't say shine, it. how's that. Shine, shine bright. bright like a diamond. Shine, shine bright shine like a diamond. Bright like a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> that's a song. Can you hear it? Oh my gosh, Scott! I agree with you. Ninety-nine percent, we're here to do everything you said, but there's that one percent of us who want to be YouTube sensations. Oh, <laughs> with without doubt, yes. You're gonna right, you're gonna see. be there with all those quotes. I'm telling you. Very helpful. Thank you, Chris. We appreciate that. We'll be back next Thursday night. Is my wife again? Begin. That's not me. Oh, look at that! Marketing have... and marketing. Marketing and marketing. She's so she's oh 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 she's, she's so yelled. clever. No, did you get what she's saying here? Because yeah, I didn't get I, it. I get it. Uh huh. <laughs> Mark and Mark. Yep. Yeah. Laura, in case anybody is wondering, is a hundred percent team Mark. So it doesn't matter. This whole team Scott, team Tate, team Eric, team Mike. No, it's team Mark all the way. And so you know that's been since day one. We met him in Scottsdale years ago, and uh, honestly. I was just like, I went up to, this is when we were 40 grand in debt, by the way. And a friend of mine had encouraged us to, um, you know, to meet Mark and uh, uh, Jeff Axton, one of Mark's first students. Phenomenal. We still do land deals together today. He's not coaching and not involved. He's got little kids. He's a deputy. He's kind of a big wig now, but he's still actively involved in the business. And uh, he's like, you got to meet this guy, Mark Podolsky. I'm like, all right, I'll do it. I trust you. You're a close friend and you're doing very well in the land business which is, uh, you know, Mark basically took him to another level. And mm -hmm. so I went and met Mark, and I, I was just filled with gratitude, honestly, and I just thanked him right away because I knew right then and there this was a life-changing moment. I just recognized it because, you know, you guys who don't know Mark, maybe on a very personal basis, he is as outgoing, as, as fun-loving, as encouraging, as he's just as real as he, as he appears. Genuine. 
yeah. And he really gets a kick out of people's success and taking people to places where they can accomplish their goals. And that was something we recognized like that. And so it was a pivotal moment. Very pivotal. Pivotal. This accent. Pivotal. Certain words just don't come out. <laughs> but Laura, there it is. Marketing and marketing. What she's really saying is team mark. I get yes. it. I get we get it. it. We get it, Laura. We get it. So um, now we're 45 minutes in. Well, 40 minutes in. Do you want to sign off now? I mean, I don't see any of the questions coming in. I mean, we love this. It's like this is no. We could do this all night. All night. All night. You know, just going to go to rack all up another long. Basil Hayden. Um, <laughs> so we're going to start next week with questions, comments, topics for discussion. Is that okay, Scott? I want to throw that out that there. Is, that is wonderful. And uh, we'll, we'll drop a note in the Facebook group a couple days prior if people want to give us some questions prior to Nightcap with the link. Well, and I have to throw out, it may not, it's going to be, I think, a Wednesday or a Thursday, depending. The thing is that I, my fight department is a 24 hour rotation. So I got gotcha. you. Wednesday or but Thursday. But we want to get feedback if people like this nighttime format because honestly, um, this is a great time of night for me. You know, my wife and I unwind. Uh, yep. This is the time of night where, you know, she really wants to spend time with me and, you know, cuddle up and <laughs> tell me how much she loves me. She so, can watch you on her phone now. That's so now good. she can partake in this because she's over there watching me. And, you know, so now she's thinking I'm kind of a big wig and this is really cool. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to continue to do this. This is great. We'll I love it. This for sure. Let's see if there's any more comments. Oh, there it is. Yes. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, right, Scott? We're going to rotate it depending on my, you know, Wednesday, Thursday. But this time, so we want to know if everybody likes this time because, you know, some people may be watching this on the reruns, you know, tomorrow on Netflix. Uh, but uh, the reality is that uh, we thought it was a great time at night because, you know, it's a time that we could, you know, really have some fun, joke around. As I always tell people, the great thing about this business and the people that we work with is that we take the business very serious. We just don't take ourselves too serious because this is a That's business exactly. we can truly have fun with. And anybody who's been doing it for a long period of time absolutely loves the business because they love talking about it. And that's that's something that you have to really take into consideration. Years later, everybody that's staying with this business loves to talk about and share about it because it is exciting, mostly because of what it provides for us um, and all the uh, benefits we get from it. All right, let's see. we got another comment here. Nighttime rocks. There you go, Bill. All right, Bill. <coughs> awesome. And works for me, Tim. I, this is great. You know, I, oh, Aaron Williams. Uh oh, Aaron, did you, Aaron, did you hear my comment earlier? I'm just curious because I was the just Thunder talking about Steelers. it. The, you know, the Thunder Steel. That's your new name. We're talking about on the Mastermind call today. And when Mark went to you with some sort of quote or somebody, it was either Mark or Scott or Tate. It really just felt a little little sting in my heart because it was like they usually come to me for quotes, <laughs> and, and they went to Bearland Aaron. He got he, he went up me, so I was talking about that Bearland Aaron. But I, you know what? I feel like maybe I rubbed off on you, so now I'm going to take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect time. Thank you, Shelby. Awesome. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Shelby. Look at that, is Eric. He's still tuned in. We still have Eric. We still have Eric's oh, attention. I want to say one more thing, Mark. Uh, Mike. Mike. Yeah, please do. Your name is Mike. Yes, I know. Um, Mark calls me Mark sometimes too, but go ahead. I I think uh, <laughs> I think in the I think in future shows we're we're gonna bring in a guest, right? We're gonna interview. Oh, yes. We should talk about that. So we're gonna interview some people from from flight school and possibly the investor toolkit and. Uh, Get your take on how things are going. So, we will be hunting you down. Well, no, you know what? To, to join they're us, gonna come, I know they're going to come to us. This, you know, if you want to, if you want to, you want to schedule a call with us. We're going to put a, we're going to put a link on the on the uh, mastermind group. And if you want to be on this and ha be interviewed by us, you know, only one of you per week. I'm sorry, I know there's going to be a lot of <laughs> demand, one per week. And um, you know, just let us. And look at this is what he was saying with this was. That was the quote. So oh, you know, cracks in history. now that I look at this as the quote, I'm not really feeling that bad now because cracks of history is really not Zen like it's it's a nice quote, but it does it really <laughs> does it really make you feel woman fuzzy, Scott? Not really, no. Not really. And it has to be taken in context. So Barry Land Aaron, um I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I, I just felt that sting when you took the quotes. Let's see. Here we go. Challenge accepted. Roberto, awesome. See, Roberto, we'd love to interview you sometime about, about your flight school experience. So This is great. Um, yeah, I think that uh, we'll get people in the queue. there's a lot of benefit. You know, one thing I truly believe is, and this is so true, that in the stories it conveys so much more than just, we can sit here and talk to a blue in the face, but people who tell stories of real life, um, you know, experience in this business, that is powerful. That oh, allows people yeah. to, because we're all in different places. We're all come from different backgrounds and you may not relate to Scott or myself, um, probably Scott, not relate to Scott more than me. But anyway, you may not really. <laughs> just kidding, Scott. I relate to all. I'm just kidding. But to somebody else you will relate to. So the more people we can get on here to talk about it, maybe that one person, like we talked about earlier, what Mark says, right, Scott? They say, screw it, ATM investing. Maybe someone, before they take that leap away and say, well, this is just for me, maybe we put something in front of them, someone in front of them that, they can relate to and they double up their efforts and they make that first sale, they make that first deal and then they commit, right? And then they, the commitment to this business is what changes everything. So um, what do you think? I think that's a, I think that's a, that's a good idea. As, oh, that's a, what are you going to say? Great. No, I was just going to say, I think that is it's a great idea. That was a, that was a great close dude. Oh, oh, is that it? We're over. We're done. That's how we end. No, we, I'm just, I came I'm up just with the beginning. It. Questions, comments, topics for discussion. So I need you to come up with what we say at the end. What we say at the end. All right. I mean, I just I'm came up you. with because of the beginning. You don't have anything? Am I putting you on the spot? Uh, yeah, you're putting me on the spot a little bit. I'm gonna have to think about that. Well, we got you know we're gonna sign off. We got to sign off and uh, till next time. Till next time. Till ne this boring though. <laughs> we'll come up with something better. We could just yell in unison. Team Mike. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a little overreaching. Cheers. 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 I like cheers. That's simple. Cheers. cheers. I think that she might be trying to help there unless she's saying cheers to us. But either way, Brandy, perfect. Cheers. Cheers. So I'm gonna cheers to you. Bar. Cheers to me. Cheers to the bar. Here we go. Right. So I'm going to say cheers, but then wait, we're going to do it together because then I'm going to end the broadcast. Ready? Like, let freedom ring, but Oz is Scott. Cheers. Cheers.